Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about this morning is, uh, previously, we've talked about defense in depth and about how we don't rely on just one tool to provide security. There are multiple layers to our security jawbreaker, right? Well, if you find yourself uh, in the middle of not having uh, antivirus, anti-ransomware, EDR, uh, Windows Defender does have some built-in tools. You can also with some uh, antiviruses use the Windows Defender tools. And Windows Defender does have this anti-ransomware tool. And let's take a look at it. It runs on uh, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server 2022, and maybe 2019. Um, this is a Windows Server 2022 uh, build that I'm playing with here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and I'm just going to type in security here, Windows security settings. And it pretty much works the same way on Windows, Windows 10. And we're going to go to virus and threat protection. And then here, if we scroll down, you can see we have ransomware protection. And we're going to click manage ransomware. And it's called control folder access. So what it does is it controls what applications can modify files in folders that you specify. So obviously, there's probably going to be some tweaking and things like that. And remember, this is only one tool in the toolbox to help manage uh, ransomware and uh, network intrusions or incidents. So we're going to turn control folder access on and then we're going to look at protected folders. Now by default it is going to protect the users documents, pictures, uh, videos, and music folders. So you can add a protected folder. So if you have you know a shared folder um, on your drive like let's say that you you have a shared folder where users keep their files that are not on the c drive because usually that's what we do we, we keep things on the network so you could browse to that and uh, i'm just gonna select the users folder here the whole users folder but that could be any folder now that folder is uh is protected so um then you can allow an app. So if you already know what app you want to allow, so we can allow, uh, and if it has blocked an app recently, you can select a recently blocked app or you can browse all apps. So let's just say that I want um, Notepad. Let's see if we can find where Notepad is. Uh, let's see. I, it's been so long, I have absolutely no idea where Notepad is. But we'll use the Windows, uh, I don't know if that's Windows, right? Let's see what's under System 32. It's been a while since I've had to do do this. Let's see. Uh, see, Notepad. There's Notepad. So now we're going to allow Notepad to access those files. Uh, and then here we can see the blocked history. So, uh, like I said, this is just another tool in the toolkit, um, if you have um, a domain and things like that, there are likely group policies that we can look at. So uh, don't just take my word for it. Go in, poke around, take a look at it. If you have questions, let me know. Like I said, this is just another um, tool in the toolkit when we are looking at setting up our defense in depth, our security. So if you've got any questions, leave it down in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share. Please follow me on Twinster, Twinster, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or using our affiliate links that don't change your prices, but do kick a couple bucks to the channel, they are clearly marked below. If you need that IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form and someone will contact you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. Make sure you are designing your defense in depth. You have multiple layers to the security jawbreaker or gobstopper. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.